Hi there, welcome to the tutorial Working with Sound. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with sound inside your stop motion animation. And I'm using Adobe Premiere Elements 10. On the desktop I've created a fantastic, fun, fabulous folder called Animation Goodies. Now, in this folder I've placed everything we need for the animation. These are photographs I took. Uh, this is from, actually I didn't take them, this is from The Road to Pro, which is a project in sixth grade at the school where I work. And these photographs are resized to be 800 times 450 pixels because the original photographs were way too big for the power of my computer. So this is one photograph from the animation. You can see how it moves. Now, there are some small problems in the animation. For example, we forgot a hand in there. So I'm going to switch with this button here. If you click this button in Windows 7, you get to see them as icons. So I'm going to just visually run through and delete all the instances when the hand is left in there. Because we want to see the puppets, not the hand. So that's it. And then I have in this folder some voice dialogue recordings and I have a different sound files. Now the sound files are from freesound.org where I have my account and if you're looking for sounds you just type here what you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for the sound of a punch and this gives me different options let's say I like the sound of this punch so I'm gonna download it now I need the type of file which is WHV wave so I'm gonna download the wave file because this is a file that my software likes so once I downloaded this file I have to save it somewhere now my browser downloaded it somewhere so if I right click here I can open a containing folder and here's my file I'm gonna cut it from here right click cut or control X and I'm gonna find on my desktop the animation goodies folder and I'm gonna paste right click paste that sound so now it's here this is the sound I'm going to use in the animation together with different voice recordings. So, I'm ready to start working with sound inside the software. So what I'm going to do is just select all this and drag it over to one of these empty squares inside Adobe Premiere Elements. and that will place everything in there so once the files are in there I'm gonna go to this folder first double click it then I'm gonna click control A so you see they become a different shade of gray control A I'm going to drag them to video 1 and now all my photographs are on video 1 now if I hit the minus button I'm going to zoom out if I hit the plus I zoom in so I zoom out first because I want to make sure that this animation is the right speed because right now each photograph is 6 seconds long and this is way too long for my animation even 12 seconds long it's endless so instead I'm gonna click 
and drag all over them to select them all or control A I'm gonna press plus to zoom in right click time stretch and I'm gonna stretch it to say four frames per second okay and you see it became so small so if I zoom back in I realize it's the same photographs they just became much shorter now if you press play now you see that suddenly it comes to life and each photograph is four seconds now you need to I need to remove that hand from in there that I saw for a minute so I'm gonna press space to play it and I'm gonna find this instance where the hand is sticking in click that photograph press delete so it's gone and it's time to show you how to work with the sound so I pick the sound of the punch and I find the scene in the movie where there's the fighting let's say we imagine that there's gonna be a punch here so I'm gonna click and select the sound of a punch drag it to the track under my images so this is track audio 1 as you can see here if you have your tracks closed like this then I suggest that you click these little arrows to see them better I zoom in with plus 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 and I listen to the result so as the animation is as the movie is going on on a certain point we hear a punch okay let's say I'm satisfied I also downloaded a slap I'm gonna include it after the punch so it's just a punch and a slap okay I'm satisfied and now I'm going to show you how I wanna, where I put the voice or the dialogue. And if you double click this, you're gonna get a preview window so you can listen to your dialogue. And Mr. Rocky was right that all his dreams would come true. Harry worked really hard. So let's say I want to use this segment. Harry worked really hard. So I'm gonna drag these markers to select this segment where the narrator says this. Harry worked really hard. Okay. And I'm gonna drag this sentence. So I'm clicking on this image and dragging this segment to another audio track. So as you see there are different audio tracks, there is soundtrack, narration, audio 3, audio 2. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's an audio track. So right now I have the image line and I have narrator and the text at the same time. So this is how you can use different types of audio in your projects. Good luck!